it is a slap on the wrist. Yet another lawmaker speaking out tonight about what many are calling a way too lenient sentence for a former school counselor. Shanna Taylor will not go to prison and will not have to register as a sex offender. Now, she was accused of having sex with two 16 year old students, though. Call 6 Investigates Kara Kenny is working for you, digging into the new legislation already in the works, as you heard. Kara, what have you been learning? Well, as you just heard, Carly Maser, a state representative, calls Taylor's sentence of home detention a slap on the wrist. Although Shayna Taylor will lose her teacher's license as part of this plea deal, Maser says the state needs to do more to protect children. The proposed bill introduces a new offense called indiscretion that would punish teachers and counselors for having any kind of sexual contact with students ages 16 to 18. It would also increase the age of consent in Indiana from 16 to 18. Years old. It would also change a child seduction charge to a felony rather than a misdemeanor as it is currently. With this law being passed, um, we'll certainly give a judge more tools to be able to really do what needs to be done and hold people accountable who put their hands on our children in any way, shape, or form, especially in a manner where there is authority and to take advantage of these children. Maser's bill would make a child seduction a felony that would carry a penalty of up to two and a half years in prison. Now, what prompted Maser to, to file this to begin with? She says it was actually an IMPD detective who specializes in missing persons cases who brought it to her attention. And she, she says that a 16 year old simply isn't old enough to give consent. And she says that needs to change. Kara, thank you. I know it will continue mm -hmm. to follow this. Absolutely. Story.